Hello students, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will study about the built-in exceptions in Python. So what is an exception we studied in the previous video? It is a Python object that represents an error in a Python program. Okay. Now what are built-in exceptions? Some exceptions have been defined in this Python standard library. So the name of such exceptions is defined and some code for handling these exceptions has also been defined. And these exceptions which are already present in the standard library of Python are known as built-in exceptions. Okay, So uh, the name of these exceptions are present in the standard library as well as some standard solutions for the commonly occurring exceptions. Now what are these solutions? These solutions are generally the exception handlers or the exception handling codes which tell that what gave rise to a particular exception. So at what line number the exception occurs, occurred, what is the name of the exception and why the reason for the occurrence of the exception. So these are some basic uh, information that are provided by such exception handling codes and some hints are given also to the user so that the next execution of the program does not give rise to the exception. Okay. So there are uh, around 12 to 13 types of built-in exceptions that exist in Python. We will study all of them very quickly and understand what is the difference between each of them. Okay. So the first built-in exception in Python is the syntax error. Okay. So the syntax error occurs whenever some rule of the Python programming language gets violated. So for example, you have not written the correct for format in which the if else statement is used or the for loop is used or you have not done the correct indentation okay or uh, you are you are trying to uh, write a for loop but you have not specified the colon so something like that some existing rule uh, that gets violated gives rise to a syntax error exception in python the next is the value error so this error occurs when inappropriate value has been received by a function. So the data type is correct, but the value is incorrect. So what can be an example in this situation? So for example, uh, while typing, the user was expected to give a positive integer as an input, but a negative integer was uh, given as an input. So this will lead to a value error if there is a checking of the kind of input that has been received. Okay, or so if, if the function is performing a square root operation, then in such cases also an error will be uh, thrown, an exception will be thrown or an exception will be raised. Okay, and this type of exception will be a value error. The next is the type error exception. So this exception occurs when the data type of the value that has been entered is incorrect. So for example, you were expected to enter a string type value but you entered an integer so it, this will lead to a type error okay the next exception built-in exception is the io error so io means input output and generally input output exceptions are related to the files so if you are trying to open a file and read its contents but the file that you have specified the name of the file that you have specified does not uh, exist at the specified location then in that case, IO error will be raised. The next is the name error. So the example of a name error we saw in the previous class also, this uh, exception generally occurs when the variable that you are trying to use has not been defined. Okay, so this gives rise to a name error exception. The next is the import exception. So as the name suggests, whenever you are trying to import a module, but that module does not exist or cannot be found by the Python interpreter, this will give rise to an import error. The next is the end of file error. So end of file means that the file from which you were trying to reach, uh, to, uh, the file from which you were trying to read has is kind of empty. So the end of file marker has been reached and no content has been read from that file. So suppose you specified the name of a file, you opened the file in the Python program and you specified uh, some uh, function that was 
supposed to read the content from that file but the file was empty uh, no content could be read from that file and directly an end of file was reached so this will lead to an end of file exception okay the next exception which is an example of a built in exception is the zero division error so this er occurs whenever the denominator is zero okay the next is the keyboard interrupt exception so whenever a program is being executed by the python interpreter and you forcefully stop the program in the middle of its execution by either pressing the delete key or an escape key then such an exception arises the next is the index error exception which arises when the index value that you have specified for any list for a string or any particular data type that is indexable that particular index value is invalid or it is out of range then it will give rise to an index error the second last kind of built in exception is the indentation error which is very easy to understand that whenever the indentation of your python program is incorrect this particular exception will be raised all right the next is the overflow error so the overflow error arises when the variable in which you are trying to uh, store a value is 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 not capable enough to store such a large value so for example you are trying to store a very big integer number which cannot actually fit in the integer data type variable that you have specified so in that case an overflow error occurs so uh, you can also understand that whenever an intermediate result or the result of a calculation exceeds the maximum limit for the variable for the data type of the variable in which you are storing the result then this overflow error exception will occur okay so these were the 12 types of built in exceptions that are provided by the python programming language i hope you have understood them in case you have any doubts you can mention us in the comment section below also let us know that how you are liking these videos it really boosts us morale thank you for watching thank uh, till we meet in the next video mind your exam